The Maldives Parliament Speaker and former President Mohammad Nasheed spoke to We On World Is One's principal diplomatic correspondent Sathant Sibyl in his first interview after surviving an assassination attempt in May. Listen in. So welcome to Vion. Uh, since this is your first uh, uh, TV interview, uh, a first question which everyone wants to ask is about the terror attack uh, which happened, the assassination attempt that happened. How are you doing now? Are you okay? How are you recuperating from uh, that incident? Well, um, thank you very much and thank you for um, having me on your TV. Uh, first, yes, it is my first television interview and I thank um, everyone who has been so kind to me um, after the assassination attempt. Um, Indian authorities, um, the Foreign Secretary, the Speaker of the Parliament, uh, the High Commission to the Maldives, um, everyone has been um, so kind to me. Who do you think, sir, is responsible for uh, this attempt? This is uh, a major terror attack in your country, which has happened, especially targeting you. Well, uh, uh, of the uh, uh, the person who is um, under arrest and the other four associates of him are linked to extremist uh, Islamic ideology, uh, especially of that uh, uh, of, uh, of the ISIS. You have been very vocal about uh, the Chinese influence. Uh, so anything specifically you have done in dealing with the influence of China in halting that? Well, uh, you know, one of the things that we went into was to uh, is reassess the nation's debt. Uh, the parliament has worked very hard in assessing how much we, were, we are in debt to uh, different uh, Chinese companies, different Chinese banks, and also the Chinese state. Uh, we've called upon uh, China uh, to restructure the debt. Uh, it still hasn't happened. Uh, and again and again, if um, China wants to collect money from the Maldives, uh, which huge uh, uh, amounts uh, that we are now having to pay for to them, and again, with the difficulties that we have presently, not only because of COVID, but also because the exact projects that the money was spent on wasn't financially viable. So it's going to be very difficult for, for us to pay back the money. Uh, I think we all our political parties, including the opposition PPM, uh, must again come down to the same platform where we understand diplomatic relations and where we understand that uh, the you know we must work together with our long time long time neighbor India, and that we should have a special relationship with India, and we should have a India first foreign policy. Any way in which New Delhi can help uh, you in dealing with the issue of terrorism, in dealing uh, uh, with the issue of de-radicalization, counter-terrorism, uh, where there can be convergences. We know that already both sides are working, but anything would you suggest uh, that New Delhi can help, perhaps capacity building? Well, I think, uh, yes, there's a lot that New Delhi can do, and then they are doing a lot. Uh, capacity building within the police, capacity building within the military, within the education system. Um, all that work is actually, e even as I speak, going on. Sir, will you be keen to stand for the next uh, elections, the presidential elections in your country? I mean, uh, what's your... Well, I've always been saying, I've always been saying, I haven't retired and I'm available. Okay. Uh, and I will make myself available for all elections. So, uh, politics... Uh, sees many changes, uh, uh, including uh, joining hands with the opposition. Will you ever join hands with PPM? It was a political anthem, but looking at the situation which is emerging, it looks like, will you ever or it is a no-go area for you? But there's this confusion here. But I am, I am seriously calling upon the opposition to look, please look at what is happening in the country. And Sadan Sibul is now joining us live from New Delhi for more on that. Uh, Sadan, very significant remarks being made by the Maldivian leader there where he talks about the country's India First policy and the difficulties in paying back Chinese loans. 
Well, yes, sir, this is his first interview, uh, television interview since uh, the assassination attempt. Uh, he spoke to Vion from London uh, and uh, on many subjects he spoke, but the significant part was the China part uh, clearly saying that Maldives can't pay the debt because uh, remember the problem with Chinese infrastructure projects is that they create unnecessary debt on country. This is not just Maldives, there are other countries uh, as well as an example. But also he spoke extensively about the domestic politics of the country. Uh, remember he has uh, uh, said and it, it looks like to be an ideological divide between President Soleil and uh, himself. Uh, uh, that is something that is emerging from Maldives. He talked about that uh, he is worried about the extremist element uh, in uh, the country and uh, talked about a broader platform where all parties can come together, the liberal-minded parties can come together. But interesting point on uh, whether he will ally with PPM. Now, why is PPM important? This is the party of the former president of Maldives, Yamin, and he, of course, was very pro-China. So the big question is, will he join hands uh, with them and uh, uh, perhaps uh, be opposing President Solib just before the election is the big question. But largely, uh, his focus was uh, on New Delhi as well, how India First policy is something that... Uh, should be the focus, a broad consensus, and we have seen that happening, especially under the leadership of President Soli. Uh, we haven't seen, in fact, since President Soli came uh, any high level visit either from China, either from Pakistan. In fact, the first conversation between the two leaders, President Soli and the Chinese President Xi Jinping, happened just a few weeks ago. That was the first conversation in over two and a half years. That shows that how uh, the, uh, the Maldivian leadership uh, is uh, does believe in India first policy but also believes India is a country that is willing to provide them uh, any kind of assistance uh, uh, they require especially remember during the COVID times uh, the COVID pandemic which still continues last year India had provided a lot of relief to Maldives uh, and also under its vaccine method initiative earlier this year Maldives and Bhutan were the first two countries to get the vaccines as well so uh, right. the these remarks show the intent of the broader political spectrum in Maldives. Satan, thanks very much for that. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.